Dale Abraham here, Golf Tips Magazine, Top 25 Instructor, and I'm here at the beautiful Desert Mountain Club in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I want to help you with middle wedge distance. So on some of the earlier tips, we talked about chipping and pitching. When we do that, our feet are about a club head width apart. We're leaning forward. The pitch, our hand, the ball's in the middle. Our hands are basically right opposite the middle of the left leg. The chip, the ball's further back, and that gives the shaft more lean. We talked, this was up to about 20 or 25 yards, and in the backswing, we really kept our legs pretty steady right there and swung the club up to halfway. As far as that, if we let the club fall, it's only going to hit at that 20 to 25 yard distance. So if we need to hit it further or fly it more, then we've got to actually add some speed to that. So the cue is to go wider with your feet, two club head widths apart. Now when we do that, that gives our brain a cue that says, okay, now it's okay to move our lower body on the way back and through to give us some more power. So again, balls in the middle are slightly forward, feet are about two club head widths apart, left foot pulled back and turned out slightly. From there, I'm setting a little bit more of my weight on my lead leg, about 60, 65%. I'm gonna swing back and as I swing back, I'm gonna allow my body to rotate, my lower half, and then I'm gonna turn through about the same distance. This is about 25 to 50 yards, or about the max is half of what you hit your sand wedge. So if you hit your sand wedge 100, then 25 to 50. If you hit your sand wedge, it's only maybe, let's say it's uh, 80, then about 20 or 25 to 40 yards. So in this case, I'm gonna hit about a 45 yard shot. So feet about two club head widths apart, left one back, little bit of weight left. As I swing back, I'm gonna let my lower body rotate. And as I swing through, I'm gonna turn through. And that's gonna give me a nice smooth motion. And that two club head widths apart with the feet tells my brain, okay, now it's time to rotate on the way back. And okay, through. middle wedge from down the line, my feet are still two club head widths apart. That front foot is actually pulled back and turned out. Now the two club head widths again apart with my feet is gonna, that's my cue to allow my lower half to turn a little bit on the way back and turn through on the way through. And that's gonna give me more distance and more speed as I do it. So again, nice setup here. Let the lower half rotate a little back and through. From there, the ball should pop up high, go towards your target. And remember, two club head widths for the middle wedge, one club head width for those ones that are close in, and that'll be the cue to let your body either stay quiet or to move and provide a little more speed so you can get more distance. Hope this helps you out. Let me know. If you have any questions, send me an email. Love to hear from you.